Before we begin, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 400 subscribers. We'll be doing a special video soon, and I just want to say thank you. It's insane how much growth we've had in this past month, like 20 subscribers in May alone. And now, into the video. Alright, so we open up the first qualifying group of the rookies. The top marble in each of these two groups will make it into the main competition. And they go into swimming the first event here. Starts off Peacock, now Atlantis into the lead. Atlantis far on the outside, though, as he's quickly dropping spots. He's all the way out, and he's going to end up coming in last. First to last place in a matter of seconds. Atlantis crashes and burns. Circus and Peacock will become first and second, respectively. Our second group of the qualifiers takes off here. It is Slimeball who has the lead here. Monarch in second. Nightfall drafting, though. Now Nightfall to the outside of Monarch, and Nightfall is going to win the race. Monarch second, and Slimeball falls all the way back to the third. A little bit of teamwork from two veterans of the theme team tournament. And our second event now is going to be the Marble Tower, the same track that you just saw in the previous event on the theme team tournament video for the Marble Tower, and here they go. Carmel in the funnel, spinning down to the lead. Now Peacock giving pressure. He had a good result in race one of this qualifier. And he's actually going to enter third, though. Atlantis is going to look to be sneaking past. Now he gets a hit on Titanic, and Titanic might even lose out to first place here. Atlantis, who led for most of the previous race before choking in the end, looking to redeem himself, and it's looking good here. Peacock in second place. He got stalled for a little bit, giving Titanic a chance to catch up. In stretching Atlantis' lead all the bigger. And it looks like Atlantis is going to win. Second place going to Peacock and third to Titanic, respectively. Fourth place contested, but I think that that goes to Circus, or that is Carmel. Circus in fifth and Birthday in sixth. And those are the results from Group 1 taking on the Marble Tower. And now the updated standings here. Peacock hops into first place. Just beyond Circus and Atlantis right back in the running after a poor event one. Next up, we go to group two here. Nightfall looking to continue his momentum from the first race. We'll see if he can do it here. Of course, Peacock and Circus were, or Peacock was, Circus wasn't really able to carry on the momentum. But he's going to try and redeem himself here. Into the first funnel here. Fighting down to the bottom. Nightfall again with it. Nightfall looks good so far. And into the second funnel with the lead vampire in second here. Someone who didn't really make a statement in the first race but now he's coming back and it looks like it is nightfall entering the third funnel still with the lead he is not giving it up monarch in third as well he came in second of course in the first race nightfall down to the bottom vampire doesn't have enough to catch him and we'll see if slimeball can catch monarch he looks to have the inside angle and he does slimeball is actually going to come in third monarch just took his eyes off the prize here and celtic gets stuck up top, Grayscale in fifth. Not a good showing so far from him. A last place in a fifth. Nightfall has won two in a row, and if he wins a third in a row, he automatically clinches, making it into the Marble Summer Championship. Peacock looking good as well, and we move on to the race course. And we go in slow motion to start off the race course here, and a big burst of momentum for Titanic is here he comes. Down into the spinner and denied. Titanic's not getting through. Neither are a bunch. And it looks like Atlantis first. Circus second. Carmel third. Birthday fourth. Titanic and Peacock got absolutely hit. You don't have to be first. You just have to be careful. Peacock going to cheat up a little bit at the end to get out of last place. Titanic, a really rough showing for him so far. The updated standings. Peacock really not hurt that much as he's right in the running. Only four of them are, though. And now... The second group taking on the race course here. Nightfall, of course, if he wins this, there's no need to go into event four of the qualifiers, and he will have already clinched it up into the Plinko board and out. It looks to be Nightfall, or no, that's Celtic. He's denied. Who gets through first? Oh my goodness, I think it was Nightfall. He barely edges out Grayscale, and he, indeed he does. You're going to check on the replay after this. He, in fact, did. And then a couple did not make it. And right there it is, Nightfall. He's going to go three in a row in first place and end up clinching moving on. A real dominant performance from Nightfall today. The next closest is six behind, which is Monarch, and that is just not enough to make it. Nightfall has clinched moving on. They That group does not even need to go into race four block pushing. Whoever gets the further push goes to the finals. 
And Titanic is going to get the better one here. Carmel will not be able to move on. A massive round here. Circus versus Atlantis. The better push goes to Circus. And Atlantis cannot win. Circus ruins his dreams right as they were about to come true. Peacock saves himself. And it'll have to be between Peacock and Circus for qualification in the final. Here's Atlantis. Terrible push here. He was just not ready to go. He comes in last, and he's only going to get one point in this. And this is it. Peacock or Circus. Whoever gets the further push is in the final, and it goes to Peacock. The better push will put him through. Dominant over Circus. That is a humongous gap. Peacock wins the event and also ends up winning the group, moving on to the Marble Summer Championship over Circus by one point. And of course, with our marbles moving on, the logo reveal here, Nightfall, his logo in the top left, and Peacock also there. Logos were created by Flame Vapor. His channel will be in the description. Thank you so much to him. As always, thank you so much for watching the Marble Summer Championship qualifiers. This is the first of three. We'll be bringing you the veterans and the superstars, the ones who have been in tournaments before next. So until then, thank you so much for 400 subscribers and take care.